and the other is the inquiry that uh, may be happening by the PNG police in, uh, in Papua New Guinea itself. But I think it's very clear that nothing really is going to come out of that inquiry in, uh, in, uh, can, in, uh, by the PNG police. Uh, they've already made it very clear that they weren't involved, uh, although the involvement of the PNG police is just you know, so completely obvious as to be a, you know, a render their you know, public statements as a complete nonsense. I think something more will come out of the Canberra statement, but I think the the thing, I think the point about being four months after Reza Barati's death, you know, is that if this had happened anywhere else, and and if and if someone had been killed in this way in a detention centre or prison in Australia, we wouldn't have had the kind of complete cover-up and the obfuscations and the you know the ignoring you know the facts of the thing the way that we have with uh, with uh, with Reza Barati's death. So, but I think we do know. We do know who was responsible for Reza Barati's death, and those people ultimately sit in Canberra. Whoever actually hit Reza with a bit of wood, whoever dropped the rock on his head, you know, they may have been the, you know, the immediate agents you know, of the policy that uh, Scott Morrison and Tony Abbott have actually put in place. And I think we also have to recognise that that policy originally was put in place by the Labor Party, and I'll, I'll, come, back, I'll come back to that. But the people who were responsible for Reza's death are in, are in Canberra, ultimately.